In this video I let you know about my new film blog, I tell you about an experiment which I'm running at the moment, and I let you know how I made a huge mistake in my PhD. Another one! We are definitely running sound, right? Good. I just recorded an entire video with the sound off, because I didn't turn on the microphone. Oh, you bloody idiot, you weren't recording! So I'm back here in Exeter after two weeks away in France. Those of you who saw my live stream advert will have seen what I got up to while I was over there. Thanks incidentally to everybody who came and watched that live stream, uh, which was with Thomas Frank and with Jamie Miles talking about adult life skills and how to adult. Um, it was really really good fun to do that. I mean admittedly it was one o'clock in the morning for me uh, and I got to sleep at like half three but it was it was so much fun to do uh, and I just like doing live streams anyway because I like having the live interaction with you guys so hopefully we're going to try and do this more regularly like every month or two. Um, if you like the sound of that then comment below because I will take any excuse to do more of them because they're so much fun. So in terms of other content that's going to be coming out on this channel uh, between now and Christmas I've worked out a rough schedule but I'm not going to post it because the last time I did that I got a bit ill from all the stress. So uh, uh, we've got coming up a crash course series on my research and the stratosphere generally. Now I realise I've said I've done, I would do this like twice in the past, but um, I was never completely happy with my setup or the script or how much time I had. Now I am happy with all of those things, so that's going to be coming out I think in about a month's time, and that's going to be three videos. There's also going to be, for me, a really exciting series, uh, which is going to be talking about the run-up to the Paris Climate Talks. So these are the United Nations talks uh, this December, uh, basically trying to hopefully introduce a cap on emissions. Now, for this series, I'm going to be interviewing people from the Met Office and professors from the Climate Group here in Exeter, and clue you in on not just the science of what's going on, but also what we can expect to happen in these talks, how they work, and what to do if we get absolutely nothing from them, which might happen. Then there's going to be a series after that, uh, leading into December, where we're going to be looking at Durrell again. So you might remember that I went off to Durrell to make some vlogs for them. If you didn't see them, then click over here. And this time around we're going to be looking at the conservation issues which they face. There's going to be about three or four videos uh, analysing the work that they do, why they exist and why they're important. And that's going to lead directly into my Project for Awesome video this year, which is going to be about Durrell again. And it'd be really, really awesome to have you guys supporting me on that. And then as well as all of those videos, there's going to be a few uh, standalone ones, um, uh, which we saw one, for example, recently, which is the PAT video. There's going to be a few individual ones that are not part of the series, as well as these vlogs. So it's quite a lot, quite a lot coming out, actually. <laughs> I'm trying to put more effort into this YouTube channel, basically, and also other video projects, which I'm not quite ready to talk to you about yet. Um, but uh, it's, it's hopefully this channel is going to become a lot more, I don't want to say serious, but like, there's going to be a lot more production put into it, basically. Unfortunately, that means that I've had to drop some other commitments this year. I'm not going to be doing any a cappella singing, so um, if you're watching this from extra a cappella, I really miss you guys. But I will be continuing with chapel choir, and that's actually the only extracurricular thing I'm going to be doing this year, apart from YouTube, because the PhD is kind of starting to ramp up. So while this week has been Freshers' Week in Exeter and I've been doing an awful lot of singing events and trying to encourage people to get involved in societies, I was fundamentally back to work. So when I went back on Monday, I got into my office early in the morning and I was really, really pleased to see that the programme which I'd written to run while I was away in France had crashed after a day. Basically, this programme was supposed to uh, generate lots and lots of data, which uh, I'm using in an experiment to effectively prove or disprove of a hypothesis we have about how mass flows in and out of the polar stratospheric region. Now, this data is absolutely necessary, there's, there's really no way I can get around doing it, but it was going to take a long time to do. It was going to take about 30 days to get a substantial data set. So I programmed it to run while I was away in France, and then when I came back, it had crashed, so I didn't have any data. And it turns out the reason that it had crashed was because of an old piece of code which I didn't delete because I'm a horrible human being. That referred to a variable which didn't exist anymore because it was part of an older part of the program and it was completely unrelated to the point of the program. So I basically lost a whole bunch of productivity because of a stupid mistake. Again. I set the program running again immediately though and we have already actually got some data out of it. It basically saves data at different 
uh, like points of completion. So we have got some data out and it's looking really good. It's really quite exciting actually. I spent a whole day just playing around with the output. It's actually leading me to do something which I've never done before um, in my programming history. You have to remember that I, I was never formally taught how to program. I mean, I did a brief course in C at, um, at Oxford, but the whole this whole part of my PhD is very much new to me. And um, whenever I've run programs before, they've always been quick and they've always taken seconds, minutes maybe. Um, so I've never had to bother about optimizing my code. And now I've got a program which literally is going to take two months to finish at the current like rate of completion. So I'm looking into a technique called uh, parallelization. Bloody hell, it's hard enough to say, let alone do. In order to understand how this works, basically you have to think about the fact that a modern computer has multiple processors, right? Which are like multiple small brains. At the moment, my program um, basically runs through a list of actions and it does one, completes all the tasks, outputs its data, done. Moves on to two, does all of its tasks, output the data, then three, then four. And each one of those tasks are completely separate. So what the program currently does is it takes one brain, one processor, and it goes one, da -da 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 -da, output, done. Two, da -da 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 -da, output, done. But there are three other processors in my computer. So what parallelization does, said it right that time, is it distributes the tasks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, on and on and on, to those four, three other processors that are using all four. So in addition to having one task running here, you have second task, third task, fourth task. And in theory, it's gonna speed up the rate of like computation by four. But um, that remains to be seen because I've yet to program it and it means basically programming everything again. Well, not everything, I'm being a bit dramatic, but I'm just a bit lazy when it comes to code, as I think basically all PhD students are. If you're a PhD student and you're not lazy when it comes to code, let me know in the comments, because frankly, I think you're a unicorn. Big mistake aside though, it's actually all going very well at the moment, and it kind of, kind of good timing because it's third year now, and I'm starting to write my thesis, at least the background chapters, and it's all getting a little bit serious. So hopefully, I'm gonna be vlogging more regularly. I'm gonna be doing one every two weeks, maybe, um, and updating you on my progress and filling you in on the science that I'm doing. Hopefully, because, well, I've now got to keep a reasonable rate of progress, so it's going to get very boring very quickly. Lastly, I mentioned at the start of the video that I have a new project. I am now running a film blog called The Penitent Filmmaker. The Penitent Filmmaker being me. Now, films have like been a part of my life for literally as long as I can remember. Um, I've always loved them, and I've always been fascinated with how they're made. And I'm now getting to the point where I have an awful lot of kit, um, like lights, camera, action, and I'm starting to make my own short films and I have been making YouTube videos for some time. Now the problem is that while I have seen an awful lot of films, and I have, there's an awful lot of films which I somehow have missed, like really really famous films, and the other day I, I sat down to write down a list and I realised that there are about 200 seriously famous films which somehow just whistled, whistled past me without me noticing. So this film blog, The Penitent Filmmaker, is all about me watching one of these films a week and then writing what might be the most delayed movie review in history and posting it. So two weeks ago, I watched the uh, I watched Forrest Gump for the first time again. Don't know how I missed it. And then this week, uh, the, the past week, I watched The Little Mermaid and posted that review. So if you'd like the sound of this idea, next week I should be doing Pulp Fiction, and then I think the week after that, I actually don't know, maybe King Kong or something. Because it's not just films which people consider to be very popular, and it's very weird that I've not seen Die Hard, for example. Um, there are also films which I feel like a filmmaker should see, like King Kong, Cabinet of Dr Caligari, um, The Third Man. So it's going to be a bit of a mix -ma mishmash of a vlog, um, a blog, so used to saying vlog, uh, and maybe even do some new releases. So yeah, if you like the sound of that, then follow me on WordPress, share it to your, your filmy friends and communally shout at me for not really being a very good film lover. Thanks very much for watching. Make sure you leave down in the comments uh, which videos you're most looking forward to on this channel. And also, if you have any coding howlers and mis massive mistakes which you made, especially if you're a PhD student, please let me know because it will frankly make me feel an awful lot better. Uh, I can't remember what's coming out on the channel next week, but there will be a video and then I think there's a vlog coming out in another two weeks. I look forward to seeing you then and thanks for watching. This kind of stuff makes me really excited. You know, this is why I became a PhD researcher, because science like this is awesome. We're making incremental improvements. I'm doing that a lot. So it just so happens that, yeah, my girlfriend's sister, Alice, and my sister, Alice. I hope you're really jealous. Hi, Alice. Hey, Alice.